Okay, hello, Scott. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. You have now been in Rauma since December. How have you adapted your life here in Rauma and at Palo Alto also? Um, when I came here in December, um, it was an exciting time for me um, to be named as the head coach of Palo Alto, which was fantastic. Um, I have found it a little bit difficult as far as um, when I came over 30 years ago, I had an English partner with me as far as uh, a teammate and it was easier to spend my time away from the football club um, a little bit easier um, where I'm finding it you know being a little bit isolated um, so but I'm, I'm getting used to that the weather's turning now and uh, I feel I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being able to get about a bit more. Okay and the first team has now trained since December and in February team had almost three weeks break, kind of uh, English pre-season. Now in March started a new phase in training. This is something new for the players. Tell us a little more about that. Okay, um, my first thoughts about um, the Finnish culture and the football is that the season went on for such a long time, um, the pre-season. Um, it, it was very difficult for me to understand that process um, and I knew that I had to um, play in the games in December and January or train in December and play in January to find a little bit more about Finnish football at Division 2 level. Um, I then decided to give the players th almost three weeks off to recover and to recover mentally as, uh, as much as physically so they come back um, in March really hungry to, to play football and I, I think that's my, uh, my thought process with that. Uh, is there been some kind of change, for example, training before March and after March? Um, the, the training before March was me to get an indication of our players, the, the league. After March, it's more about um, structuring our training um, to get the players in, in the proper shape, to get them to understand what I'm looking for when they're trying to play, how we try to play, and to try and um, encourage their confidence um, and desire um, to, to go into a, a new season for, for everyone. And as a head, head coach, you have mentioned many times how important it is to focus on details in kind of teams' everyday life to get the advantage against opponents. You come from a professional environment to, uh, to a semi-professional environment. How do you feel about that? Has there been ways to get more quality to teams weekday life? I think you, you, you have to put it in a, in a nutshell. Um, at the end of the day, the game is still the same regardless of how many times you train and the objectives are still the same. You are, you are working on a four corner model with um, technique, tactical, physical and psychological. And whether you play in England, Spain, you're still developing those four corners and I think that's the key thing that we're trying to find that one percent that if we can get one percent in all them four corners on the opposition we will win more games. Pallerot also decided to change the under 20s team to a reserve team which is playing in the Finnish fourth division. How do you see that change considering both teams, the first team and the reserve team? Um, I think it's, it's a it's a good process for pathways. Um, we want our young players to, to understand what it's like to go and play in a first team. And what they'll be doing is playing against adults. They'll be playing up against a little bit more structure, a bit more challenging. And we can monitor the way um, they play. Um, so if they do progress and come into our first team, it's the, they've been playing the same way. And you're the head coach for the both of the teams. So how, how have you managed to get the both teams training and games and those stuff? I think it's all about um, making sure that we give the challenges to the young players. We give um, the opportunity for injured players to go and play football to get up to match speed for the first team without a detriment to the first team. It's important that um, players who haven't played in the first team on a regular basis can use that team to go and get some game minutes to then uh, make sure that when they come into the first team they're match ready for that. Okay. 
How has the team improved in training and has there been players who have shown great improvements? Um, the, the whole squad has improved, uh, their attitude towards the work and I've only really focused so far since we've come back on the physical side. So they're in much better shape. We're now going into a little bit of tactical work but that is a, a, a work in progress. Um, and that'll take us into our games to see see how we still need to adjust our tactical um, technique will always be our training purpose we've got to be better with the ball and keep driving to be better with the ball and then once we put all that jigsaw puzzle together we're then looking at the mental and the psychological side of a player and that will will stand out a little bit more knowing that he's physically in shape, he's technically better understanding and um, technically he's, he deals with the ball better. So you'll be able to find those little, those little flaws if there are any. Hopefully there's not. Okay, and the season starts, it's over a little bit over one month now and of course in the pre-season time everybody wants to know is there any news from new players? Um, I think it's important to make sure that we, we know what we need and until we go into two or three pre-season games I'm not, I'm not convinced that you know, we still know what we need yet and it's not a case of just finding a player that is available, it's finding a player that is better than what we already have. I'm not a, I'm not a, a coach or a manager who replaces like for like. Um, just because he's available. So it's important that we bring the right people into the football club, the right uh, personalities, the right uh, commitment, and, and that's important to me. And there has been some trial and test players during the pre-season, off-season. Uh, what about those guys? What happened with them? Well, the, 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 thing, the thing that I've, I've tried to create since I've come here is um, commitment to yeah. your job yeah. and the system in Finland is that some people you know have to travel but that doesn't mean that they you know disrespect everything that we're doing at our football club um, so it didn't work for them because they they couldn't commit to the training times and therefore I think long term that would be a detrimental effect on the on the club and the and the, the dressing room so it's important that you get people who are committed to come here. Yeah. Is there any news considering the squad now? Um, we've had um, Juho Nodemi um, decided to leave. Um, I think the commitment side was a bit difficult for him. He was travelling from Turku and felt that being on the road for two hours, which I totally understand. And also one question in, in I think the supporters of Palo in their in their lips has been that are there going to be players from UK, for example, because you have knowledge in, in UK football. Yes, I'm um, I'm discussing with um, several clubs in England right now. Um, there has been names mentioned, but I'm I'm a great believer until that paper's signed, nothing nothing is concrete in football. Anything can change um, within 24 hours in football. So. I'm, I'm kind of just being a little bit cautious about what I open up to at the minute because it, you know, football can change very quickly. But there is talk. Um, there's also talk with players in Finland as well. And um, I think it's, it's to make sure that we are ready for the 4th of May and not ready for the 30th of March. So we still have time to get our, our team in shape for that. And the season starts in May, like you mentioned. What kind of a campaign are you anticipating for Palo? Or do we have some kind of goals for the season? I think the only goal that I be, will be looking for um, short term would to make sure we can compete in the league, to make sure that we have consistency in our performances. And, and I think that is the, the, the short term goal for me. And, and above that, we will we, we, we can mention that as as the season goes. And this week Saturday we start to have practice matches every weekend before the season starts and it, there's going to be the first game against Nobs. What are, what are your thoughts about that? Again, the pre-season games are 
to give you an indication of where we need to improve as individuals, what we need to do better as a team, and this will be the first game to highlight those, those things and what we actually do well as well. Yeah, and the opponents are getting tougher during the preseason, for example, games against FC, TPS and Haka. Yeah, well, there's, there's two reasons of a preseason. One is how you, when you, when you play against um, slightly weaker sides, you have more of the ball, so it tells you what you do with the ball. When you play against stronger sides, it tells you what you do without the ball and, and how we can improve. So it's, there's always two sides to the game, one with the ball and one without the ball, and we've got to be good at both. Okay, thank you, Scott, a lot. Thank you.